story time friends. I am Miss Lisa with the Osceola Library System and I'm here with my friend Miss Delaney. Hi everybody, I'm Miss Delaney from Hart Memorial Central Library and I will be doing story time friends with you all next week. I'm very excited. I'm so excited too, yay! And I want to thank everybody for joining me today. Are you ready to get started? Today's theme is pajama day, pajama story time. And you can see I'm in my pajamas. I've got my teddy bear ready to read stories with me, okay? I'm gonna put my teddy right there. Now, you guys know the hello song, right? The hello friends. And we're gonna do it with sign language. So this sign is hello, you guys know the hello. And then the friends, we're gonna take our two pointer fingers and we're gonna hook them both ways. And then time. It's like we're pointing to our watch. Say, we're pointing to our chin, and hello. And we'll do it two times, right? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me today. And guess what? Do any of you have your glasses? I've got my glasses. Can you put your glasses on? Take your hands. Make them like this. This is going to be our glasses because I can see you. I see those glasses. Now we're going to make a book. And we're going to take our hands and put them together. And this is our book. Now, I wonder what's going to be in our book today. Do you have any idea? I don't know. Me either. Ready? So, these are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and close up the book. These are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and close up the book. Good job, everybody. Look at you guys. It's such a good job. And speaking about books, I have a book that's titled Half a Moon and One Whole Star. It was written by Crescent Dragon Wagon. I like her name. And illustrated by Jerry Pinkney. Now the illustrator is the person who draws the pictures and the author is the person who writes the words. And this book was published by Athenian Books for Young Readers, which is an imprint of Simon & Schuster Publishing. And I wanna thank them today for letting us read this book to you. All right, half a moon and one whole star. Oh, what a neat title for a book. Up above, the earth so far, hang half a moon and one whole star. Hang one whole star and half a moon, nighttime will be coming soon. Ooh, robins fold their wings in sleep, parrots rest in jungles deep. Look at those pretty birds. Chickens in their hen house drowsing, owls and bats are just now rising, possum sniffing, night frogs leaping. Susan lies in bed, not sleeping, not yet sleeping, but does she doze? Blinking as the curtain blows, yes, 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 she does sleep. Susan sleep. Ooh, look at that. Look at all those animals around her bed. Outside her window, summer night, 
and summer scents in summer's right. For honeysuckle, green cut lawns, Susan breathes green smells and yawns. Susan hears the crickets whir. Susan sees the curtains stir. Sees them stir through half closed eyes. Hears the side camps all goodbyes. Half closed eyes or drooping low. She hears laughter down below. On the porch, her parents talk. In the woods, the raccoons walk. In the lake, the wet, dark deep. Do minnows flash through sound asleep? Yes, 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 they do. Sleep, Susan, sleep. Tonight, the docking ships in the bay will raise its anchor, sail away. And walking down a street alone comes Johnny with his saxophone. He'll play it black and blue and right, and at the club they'll dance tonight. He'll play while bakers bake their bread, while Susan turns and dreams in bed. I bet you he plays some nice music. Will morning glories close up tight, conceal their blueness through the night? Yes, 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 they will. Sleep, Susan, sleep. The ship is on the ocean now, with one lone sailor on the ground, who sees one star and half a moon, who knows daybreak is coming soon, who thinks of distant coral coves as bakers count their golden loaves. As Johnny packs his saxophone and whistling softly, heads for home. As Susan's parents sleep, their room is lit up by one half moon. Does Susan dream of music, bread, of oceans as she sleeps in bed? Yes, 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 she does. Sleep, Susan, sleep. And when the night begins to pale, the possum's drowsy curls his tail. The owl will land, the chicken stir, the crickets cease their nightlong whirr. And with the notes inside his head, Johnny will climb in bed. As will the bakers, white with flour, as will the sailor in just an hour. For though the day has not begun, the sky will hint of coming sun. And when the sky hints, won't the sun rise? Yes, but not yet. Close your eyes. Yes, yes, yes. Day soon. Sleep, Susan, sleep. And in the morning when she wakes, Susan will eat breakfast cakes and breakfast breads at breakfast hour. The morning glory's full in flower. Her parents drink orange juice, her summer nightgown light and loose. Ooh, do you guys like to drink orange juice too? Do you like orange juice? Yum. No star to see, but half a moon that falls and fades and will go soon. A rising, shining summer sun, another summer day begun. And won't she swim and run and play and eat ice cream this summer's day? Yes, 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 she will. But now, sleep, Susan, sleep. Up above the earth so far, hang half a moon and one whole star. Hang one whole star and half a moon. Nighttime will be coming soon. But when there's night, there's day to follow. Sleep, Susan, sleep, for come tomorrow. Above the earth, there will be one. Hotly glowing summer sun, round and orange like a ball, like moon and star, you'll have them all. So sleep, Susan, sleep. <gasps> That's an awesome book. What did you guys think? Did you like that book? I liked that book. It was pretty good, huh? Made me think of Miss Susan. Made me think of going to sleep, made me a little tired. <laughs> but when I think about sleeping, I think about night. I think about stars up in the sky. Do you guys know the song Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? Yeah? God, as we're gonna twinkle, can you make your, your hands twinkle like this? They can twinkle at the same time if you want. They can twinkle by themselves. Twinkle, twinkle.
Go little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Good job, everybody. I saw all those twinkling stars. Nice job. Now, I have a felt story for you. And, oh, let me get my felt story. It's called, There Were 10 in the Bed. I don't know if you guys have ever heard this story before, but could you imagine 10 in your bed? It would be very crowded, wouldn't it be? It goes like this. There were 10 in the bed and the little one said, and you can go your hands like this, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Who fell out? What animal is that? It's a pig, right? What does the pig say? Oink, 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 oink. So now there's not 10 anymore. There were 10, how many are there now? Nine, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and don't forget the little bear, nine. So there were nine in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Who fell out? What is that? It's a cat. And the cat goes, meow, meow. There were how many, ready? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There were eight in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Who fell out? What is that animal? That's it, it's a duck. And ducks say, quack, 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 quack. So there weren't that many anymore. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There were seven in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. There were seven. Who fell out? What is that? He's a mouse. And mice are very quiet. Wait. Kind of let me make a little squeaking. Squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> Let's count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. There were six in the bed, and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. Oh, what is he? Look, he's got a very long neck. I can't imagine having a giraffe in my bed, can you? No! So let's count how many are in the bed now. One, two, three, four, five. It's a very crowded bed. There were five in the bed and the little one said, roll over. Whoops, roll over. Poor girl, he knocked her out. <laughs> they all rolled over and one fell out. Who fell out? Woof. Woof, 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 That's doggy. There were one, two, three, four. There were four in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. That one's a hard one. Do you know what this one is? That's right, he's a hippopotamus. And I'm not really quite sure what kind, what noises a hippopotamus makes, but you know what? All I know is I wouldn't want him in my bed. I can't imagine there's any room. So how many left? One, two, three. There were three in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Oh, that's a hard one. Do you know what that guy's called? He's called a raccoon. Can you say raccoon? 
he's a raccoon. And these little guys like to get in your garbage cans. They like to knock over your garbage cans and eat all the trash. All right. So, oh, look, it's getting less crowded. There were one, two. There were two in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. <gasps> What's this guy? He said, chick. And chicks go, peep, 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 peep. <gasps> Who's left in the bed? How many? Can you tell me how many? <sighs> there was one in the bed and the little one said, ah, alone at last. Oh, you guys did a great job helping me with all those animals. You guys did an awesome job. Could you imagine having all those animals in the bed with you? No, that would be so crowded, especially with a hippopotamus, right? So, oh no, guess what time it is? It's time to go. But before we go, I just wanted to let you know about one of our services that we offer at the Osceola Library System. We offer something called the Personal Shopper Service. Now, personal shopping is available for those times when you can't get to the library to come in and browse the books. You can call, or you can email, or you can chat with us using the chat feature on our website. You can tell us what you need, like, I'd like 10 children's books on animals and we'll collect them for you. And we'll let you know when the books are available so you can pick them up at curbside pickup. So don't forget to check out that, that, that service we offer, grownups. All right, like I said, it's time to go. Today was so much fun and I love doing story time in my pajamas with my teddy bear by me. So it's time to say goodbye to all my story time friends. So can you wave them high? Wave them low. Now it's time for us to go. Can you wave your elbows and wave your toes? And don't forget to wave your nose. Good job. Wave your lips and wave your tongue. Now blow a kiss to everyone. Wave your chin and wave your eyes. Now wave our hands and say goodbye. Thanks for joining me today for Storytime Friends. We'll see you next time.